hello guys welcome back to my channel so earlier on i talked about how i made this dress for my friend for our mutual friend's wedding so i got a lot of requests asking me to make an illustration of how i made this dress so this is a keyhole corset dress so it's a midi dress midi dress not mini it is midi because it doesn't get to the ankle and it is just below the knee so the dress also has this draped illusion in front so i did this with a velvet fabric so this tutorial is going to be a mini illustration so i've got my mini basic bodice block here for both the front and the back and the neck width that i use for the front is three and a half inches while the neck depth for the front is three inches also for the back i use a neck width of 3.5 inches and the neck depth was 6 inches so you can go as low as you want so I have marked out the waist that right there at the waistline of the back and on the front waistline and also marked the bust that at the front part of the body over here is my side seam allowance and I have labeled that as SA and I'm doing the same for the front so a quarter of our waist circumference for this illustration is 1.25 inches so the rest of the measurement of 0.25 inch is for the dart allowance at the waistline and the side seam allowance is also 0.25 inches for the purpose of this illustration so the same goes to the back part of the bodies a quarter of our waist circumference is 1.25 inches plus the dart allowance of 0.25 inch and also side seam allowance of 0.25 inch so i've got the basic uh, pencil skirt pattern right here for both the front and back part of the skirt and on the front skirt i've got the waistline hip line four inches above the knee line and then the knee line and the skirt length line so the only difference on the back skirt is just the zipper allowance why the vertical measurements remain the same just like the front so on my waistline you can see that i don't have a dart on the front skirt and also on the back skirt you can choose to add your dart if you want but i didn't do that so because of the absence of that you can see that the waistline of the skirt and the bodies do not match up because of the 0.25 inch for the dart at the waistline so the same goes to the back part of the dress so there is an extension there on the bodies because of the absence of the waist that's on the waistline of the skirt so i'll be modifying the basic bodies block of the front but before then i marked six and a half inches from the shoulder line so in this case it is going to be one inch because it is a mini illustration so now what I did next is to just find the midpoint of the shoulder slant and connect it down to my bust point line. So for the next step, I would need to contour the waistline area and normally I would mark one inch on both sides of the center of the dart line. But because my dart here is already 0.25 inches, that is one eighth of an inch on both sides of the line so now I would increase the dots to half an inch so this would be marking 0.25 inch on both sides of the dot line so the dot is half an inch now and I would mark the same thing on my under bust so bear it in mind that on her own dress I made the total dots two inches so one inch on both sides of the line on the waistline and the under bust and I connected the lines together and from here I would create a curve all the way to my under bust line and I'll do the same thing on the other side like this so now I would need to contour this point so that it tightens the upper chest area so I marked 0.75 inch on both sides of the line right there, making it a total of 1.5 inches. But for this tutorial, I'll be making it a total of 0.75 inch. So now I'm just going ahead to find the midpoint of the 0.75 inch. That is it. And I will place 
that point at the line and mark my 0.75 inches like this and after that I will go ahead and connect these two points all the way to one inch below my boss point line so after connecting the lines I realized that this line that I marked right here is way too high so I just went ahead to decrease it by 0.25 inches on this illustration paper remember that I still mark 6.5 inches for my shoulder line. So now I'm just going ahead to measure the dart allowance that I have on the new line. And what I have is half an inch. So I just, I just decided to work with that half an inch there instead of 0.75 inches. So now I will reconnect that new point for the dart all the way to one inch below my bust point line. And I'll make sure that I curve this point so that there are no sharp edges. So from here, I came downwards by one and a half inches to create the keyhole of the dress. So in this case, it is going to be 0.25 inches because again, it's a mini illustration. And from here, I will just connect like this. Then on the chest line, I came inwards from the center front by half an inch. So this is so as to create the neckline for the lower part of the bodies. So from here, I just connected sort of like a sweetheart shape to that point, like this. And from my underbust, I also connected all the way to this point on my chest line in a curved manner. So this is so as to create the cup for the corset. Then from here, I would connect to this point right here on the chest line. So I also did this in a curved manner to create the second cup for the corset. And I'm just making this line a little bit bolder. So now, this is the line that I'm working with and not this previous line right here. So I need to replace this dart that I took here so that I'm not short of measurement. So I'll just extend the line like this. And at this point where the dart ends, I would place the half inch like this for replacement of the dart. After replacing the dart right here, I also need to replace the dart here and on the waistline. So to replace the dart at the chest line, I'll go ahead and measure what I have. So I have um, 3 eighths of an inch. So I would replace the dart like this on my chest line so that I am not short of measurement. And on the waistline, remember that the dart allowance of 0.25 inch has already been added from the beginning. So I would just need to add only 0.25 inch for the extra dart intake that I took there to make the total dart half an inch. So I have connected the lines together and from here, I would connect all the way to my chest line so as to create the new armhole curve. So after that, I'll go ahead and extend my boss dart to the new side seam. And I'll label here as A and this is B. Now to close the boss dart, I'll just go ahead and cut through this line and make an extension for the dart. And then I'll close the dart like this and then use my tape to close that area. So now I'll go ahead and cut through the dart at the waistline and the underbust area like so. Make sure to blend sharp edges. And at this point right here, I'm just going to cut straight ahead. And then I will go ahead and cut through this dart right here and right here. I'll cut through the side seam and the new armhole area and then cut out the rest of the dart right here like this and then I'll go ahead and cut out the armhole, the shoulder slant, the neckline and the keyhole area of the upper part of the bodies. Now I'll go ahead and cut out the A cup 
and cut out the B cup too. So this is what I have and here is what the upper bodice looks like when it is opened and this is the center piece of the front. So this is how I'll be sewing or how you should be sewing the cups to the bodies of the front. So I'll go ahead and close the bust that of the second piece so it stays in place and I'll place it the side piece to the center piece like this and place the B cup like this and like this. So you need to add half an inch seam allowance around this area of the upper piece of the bodies so you're not short of measurement. So all around here, you add half an inch seam allowance. To the neckline, it's your choice if you want, because I didn't. And for the center piece, you need to add half an inch seam allowance here and here. And to the lower part, you also need to do the same so as to join it to the skirt and also at this area too. So for the cups, you need to add half an inch all around, all around, including the B cup too, all around. So you also need to add half an inch to the upper part of the center front. Or to all the pieces, you need to add half an inch to the upper part, don't forget. And for the side piece, you need to add half an inch to the lower part. No need to do this here because that's the side same area. So add half an inch here and also here and you don't need to add to the armhole area, okay? Again, you need to add half an inch here and the upper part too. So for this part, you're going to add exactly what you added on this other side to this part of the front. So for the back, I basically didn't do much. So all I did was to just close the waist that because I've mentioned before, I don't like to sew that. I really don't. So I'm just going ahead to secure the dart with my paper tape. And that's basically it. So I'll go ahead and cut through the side seam, the armhole area, the shoulder slant, and the neck depth. Please don't forget to add half an inch to your shoulder slant area, okay? So for the back bodies, you only need to add half an inch to the lower parts of the bodies. And I'm just going ahead to secure the darts on the second part of the back because I'll be cutting through the zipper allowance area. So now I'll go ahead and cut through the zipper allowance like this. And I have got the two pieces for the back bodies. So I went ahead to hold A and B cup together with my pin so it looks as if I have sewn them together. So I did the same for the second piece like so. And now I'm going ahead to arrange my patterns in such a way to, to just make it look as if I have sewn them together because this is what you need to do. So to hold the side piece and the center piece together, I use my paper tape like this. And then you're going to sew the cup pieces to this part of the bodies like this. And after that, you're going to sew this part of the bodies like this. Right here is the skirt for the front. So I will place the waistline of the bodies and the waistline of the skirt together like this. And you can see that they both match up. So now I'll go ahead and take out all the pattern pieces because I want to join the bodies and the skirt together at the waistline in such a way as I would sew it. So at this point, you should have sewn all your pieces together. After that, I'll go ahead and just mark out the point where the two waistlines connect together. This is a close view of what it looks like. So for the back, what I'm going to do next is that I would split open the zipper allowance of the skirt and then I will place the bodies and skirt together by the waistline and I'll use my paper tape to hold the waistline of the bodies and skirt together and I'll do the same for the other side. I have done that right here. So I just went ahead to just label here as the back bodies for unknown reason. And now it's time for you to go ahead and attach your zipper 
to the zipper allowance area. So for me, the zipper stopped at 2 inches below the hip line. So I just marked that right there. And I placed the two pieces together like so and made a stitch from here down to this point. So I'm going ahead to just use my paint to hold the zipper allowance line of the back. So this is just me sewing the zipper or attaching the zipper at the back part of this pattern because you know this is paper. So I have closed the zipper allowance area and you can see that the back is now closed. So don't forget to add half an inch to your shoulder slant of the back so as to attach the front together. So also do the same to the front part of the bodies. And for the drape that you can see on the front part of the skirt, what I did was that I measured 3 inches below her waistline. It is half inch in this case. And then I also marked 5 inches below her hip line. And I'll use this fabric to create the drapes. So I'll start by pleating the fabric right across the two points that I marked on the hip line area. And then after that, you're going to just drape it like this all the way to this side where the side seam is. So I marked one inch below her waistline at this point and I would place the drape part like so on this area of the side seam. So you need to tack this point to the side seam of the dress. So I'm just using my paper tape to just hold the drape in place because this is for illustration, right? So the drape should not be longer than your dress. So I'll go ahead and just trim off the excess that I don't need. And after that, I would use my paper tape to just hold it in place and also use my pin to secure the drape to the dress. So before tacking the drape to the side of the dress, you need to place the back side seam to the side seam of the front and sew by whatever seam allowance you have so as to conceal the raw edges of the drape and so as to finish up the drape perfectly at the side seam area. And by now you should also have joined the shoulders of both the front and back bodies together by your half inch seam allowance and also attach the cuffs and also attach the bodies like this. So I have gone ahead to just close the side seam of the dress so you can see how it looks like and the raw edges have been concealed right here and I held the shoulders of the front and back with my pins and while doing this I accidentally just ripped off the neckline of the front. So you also should have sewn the cups to this part of the bodies. And before joining the waistline of the skirt and bodies together, I created boning channels right across the center of the bodies like this. And this point where the side seam and the center piece meet up, I also did the same thing. I did the same thing on the other side. And from here, I did the same thing all the way to the armhole area of the bodies. And then inserted my boning. So for the back, I didn't do anything. It was just like that. So to finish up the drape, now remember the point I marked below the waistline, which is here. I will go ahead and just mark it out again. And then I would continue to just pleat and drape the fabric like this, right across that point. At this point, you can go ahead and tack the fabric to your side seam area but I'm just using my pin to just do that because I'm working on paper so because of my pin the drape is refusing to fall so to remedy this situation 
I'll go ahead and also use my pin to secure the drape at the back part of the pattern like so and you can see the drape is now falling down and then I would place the cup like this and I forgot to mention that after sewing the A and B cup together I used the velvet fabric that I used for the drape to conceal the stitch lines along this area but no boning was inserted here and finally I have my tiny baby sleeves here so it's a long sleeve so all you have to do is just attach it to the armhole of the dress and the dress is ready and that is all I did in order to make this dress so please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and please also turn on post notifications so you get alerted for my next video.